after this is pre-recorded. So it just went live. All right. Um, I have an event tomorrow and some other events coming up soon also. So um, I'm just going to work on some Devons. I had a couple that between me and my friend Lauren, they got cut out for Meal Fest and they did not make it to Meal Fest. And then there's a couple of new release finals for uh, More Me Know that I cut. And um, I have a show tomorrow that's a sunflower festival harvest thing. So I made a sunflower one too. Yay! You got the notification, Kira. Hey, Desiree. Yeah, so I just need to um, pick thread and cut my zippers down. Everything else is good to go. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Sonia. Okay. I'm probably using black thread for a lot of these, but I kind of need to make the sunflower one first, just so I know it's done for tomorrow. I don't think I have, oh, I do have dark green. I have three greens. The heck? I don't think I've ever used this color. I have not. Means I need a bobbin. Oh, Linda. Yeah, Kira said she wasn't getting notifications either, but she changed a setting. I have no idea what I'll get through, but I have, it's like one o'clock. Technically I have like three hours until my daughter gets home, but I, I will not be live for three hours. I mean, you never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was recording a clip for my next vlog earlier and my boyfriend called me, my mom called me. Got another phone call. That was spam. The Devon pouch is fun. It's uh it's pretty easy, but when you buy the pattern, um they give you measurements and you kind of have to like trim down as you go. Uh, once you make it like a couple times or something, you can kind of learn what um, sizes. So like I have it written down like what size I need for each piece. Um, I'm also teaching a clear and jelly Devon class in Florida, but it's it's sold out. God, there, my desk is like so dirty. It's got like hot glue on it, edge coat paint, cat fur, you name it. Okay. Yeah, I think the pattern is like $10. I need to, so it's not really cheap. Uh, I need to email the people taking my class and find out who has it already. Yeah, I probably, if I had to guess, we, Linda's going to say because you have to, like, trim it down or figure out the sizes. It's, uh, like, once you have, like, your set sizes and you do, know you don't have to trim it down every time, it, it really changes it. Yep. <laughs> I 
It is kind of funny because I've noticed some of us, I think, have adapted our sizes of the pieces slightly different, so our shapes are just slightly different, but I kind of love it. I love batch sewing them, but it is going to be kind of nice just doing this first one on its own. I haven't made one in a little while. Well, yeah. When was the last time I actually made a full Devon? Because I made like 15 clear ones back in May. I don't know if I've made any since then. So I usually do box the corners. I like boxing the corners more than um, not, but if I'm making a lot of them, sometimes I don't box the corners uh, just because it's faster. I like the look better though. I think it um, kind of looks more finished with box corners. Like if I put this light, I don't know. Kind of my face though. I found a skull zipper pull for this. I think George and Donut are asleep. We'll see when they decide to show up. Yeah, Sonia, I kind of needed my children to go back to school. <laughs> But this just, I mean, it just started like nine minutes ago. Better than not getting a notification.
that looks crooked. It's fine. I'll fix it later. Oh, shoot. Name tag. I need to order more metal tags, that's for sure. Trying to um, pick the next couple like patterns I'm going to do tutorials for because I don't have anything recorded right now. Um, a lot of the customs I'm going to be working on or am working on really because they're already started. Uh, they're uh, patterns that I already have a video for. Except for an Emily tote, but I was like, I remembered I could do that. And then I also remembered, I don't think the one I'm doing has straps at all, just a crossbody strap. And I don't know, I feel like having the handles for the video would probably be better. So I might have to make a different one for a video. Did I really just skip three stitches? It's a new needle. Ooh! That means I can use my new rainbow <laughs> screwdriver. Morning, Teresa. Except past one here. You really can't tell that that skips so I'm gonna leave that be. It's weird though. Yeah, Beth, I was thinking um, of doing how many Saturdays? I'll probably, I don't know. I was like, maybe the other Saturday that there's nothing planned having a Halloween video. But I don't know. I guess that would be a good one to do right there. I, I'll have to ask and see if I can make a video for that though. But it's really cute.
I have a whole dry erase board up there. Just like ooh, filled with patterns I want to do videos on. This green vinyl I'm using is French green something. Uh, it was like a sneaky release on the Mormino website. Like it wasn't officially announced, but it's there. These are cute. Even though I wound up way above my zipper. What the heck? Kind of need to even that up. I do need to. Ta da! Is it the Roadster tote or something? Um, road trip? That looks fun. I'm also kind of like tapped out on things I have money in on right now, so I'm like. Trying not to buy any new patterns. Okay. Uh, Nicole, there was uh, a release today. Did you look at that stuff too? Ooh, there's new ghost zipper pools, and they were at headquarters last weekend when I was there, and I didn't even realize it. I need to get them. Yeah, this vinyl is one of the like clay ones that feels like really um like fake leathery like the soft oh yeah the stained glass is good hi damaris I don't know what I did that I truly wound up like off. You could trim it down. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what I did. Brittany, what the heck? To make sure it's even on both sides. Okay, so like I said, um, this pattern sometimes you end up trimming a bit, even uh, if you have figured out your measurements. I think I know what I did. I don't think I was supposed to cut this one piece the way I did. 
کانال رو از ولی Now my zipper. That's too long. I'll make it work. I've also been using the pre-made straps for these a lot instead of making wristlets just because it's so much faster. Be Hopefully I don't mess up, or hopefully I didn't, like, miscut the rest of them. I probably did. This is kind of where I'll even everything up, too. Because right now, they don't match up.
Okay, and I'm gonna box the corners. Where's my little ruler? Not that. I normally don't measure and I kind of just wing it, but um, since that's off a little bit. See, if you don't box the corners, though, you can, like, literally just flip it and close it. Yay! Did he just squeeze the thing with the pliers and it worked? Or did he have to do something else? Huh, that's interesting. I'm glad it's fixed though because <laughs> I would have already sliced my finger off if I had a monster can piece right there. <laughs> hey, 
Danny. I don't know if you can see. I made a bunch of sunflower tumblers. I'd be so mad if none of them fell. <laughs> but I was like, since it's a sunflower festival, maybe it'll help. I just, I went there and I did the lavender festival. Like beginning of June or something. And it wasn't my greatest show, so... I figure people like sunflowers anyways too, so if I have to take it to other shows, it is what it is. Hey Danielle. Donut cat. I don't know what it is. Donna, I'm making the Devon pouch. Uh, I'm just making some to fill like inventory for some upcoming shows I have. And um, also to use some of the new vinyls coming out from Let Me Know. So that I can share them to everyone. Okay, it's cute. So this I sublimated. It's a print from Hex Reject. And then this is um French green something uh clay from Warm You Know. Yeah, my lighting. I need to get like a light over there that shines this way. There's one. What do I want to make next? I've got two sitting up here with new vinyls. Um, so on the 15th of September, there's um, three new like shimmer vinyls. Uh, this one is raspberry. I'm going to do this print. This is from So Dulce. And then I think this one's called Blueberry. And I'm going to use my Flurkin print. Lauren ran this forever ago. Um, since the new Marvels movie is coming out and there's going to be baby Flurkins. I'm so excited. Uh, the other one I think it's called cranberry but I'm gonna put this dice print from retro stitch with that but that's gonna need black thread when I get there I think all but one other one I can use black thread on so I think I could use pick up both of these, huh? Like a raspberry pink to have. I think I have to do. Yes. Okay. I can use this for both of those. Oh, and I have Baba 
ones already. For that one. Hey, Allie. I think that's the same. Yeah, okay. It is the same color. <laughs> I haven't batched on Bevins in a while. So. Lauren and I did that one, um... Devin batch so I feel like that was like last year it was like the challenge thing I really think that was like in December Cats must be sleeping real good. Okay. That's not right. <laughs> I was like, that pink looks nice together, but that wasn't the right. Yeah, okay. Ooh. The pink zipper case goes on the blue one. And the pink vinyl goes with the other one.
Um, North Ridgeville in Ohio, right? Is that near Cleveland? I like going live um, because it keeps it keeps me sitting in my seat and like I can't get distracted. It was, it was just so hard doing it during the summer because the kids were home and it's like every time I tried to like make a video, someone was down here like instantly. Well, they're at school. Yes, I was going to do it this way. That goes with that. This goes with uh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just up there. Cause I flew out of uh Cleveland to go to St. Louis this weekend. Next week is Mystery Cookie Week from uh, Crumble, and every every time they do it, I look at all the cookies in Cleveland, and I've almost gone up a couple times to get a certain one. In uh, I order uh, like business cards and tags and stuff for cat toy orders uh, from Forty Eight Hour Print, and they have. Uh, they have a print location up in Brook Park, like literally right next to the airport. And there's been times where I'm like, oh, I could go pick up an order and get a cookie. And then like the timing never works out. It makes me sad. And I think like last mystery cookie week my car was broke and i was like i can't tell my boyfriend that i had to take him to work so i can have the other car to drive to cleveland to get crumble oh that sounds fun lisa sometimes you gotta take a break Sometimes I'm like, do I really need to make a two-hour round trip for a cookie? But I'll tell you what, if it, there are a couple of cookies that I would do it for. I don't know. I got, like, we got a crumble here last year, and I had never had it before then. And, I mean, there are some, they're expensive, so, like, some of them, I'm like, these are really worth it, and then some of them are just, like, me. But I have a couple of favorites. Oh, there we go. And there's North Royalton. All the Ohio friends. My uh, high school boyfriend, his parents, or his mom worked in North Royalton, so I always remember North Royalton.
blue goes with the cat. <laughs> I definitely cut these all the same size as that last one. I think I'm just going to have to be trimming them down. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like, where'd all my clips go? I'm sitting at the cylinder arm. Not like I don't have 50 million more in a drawer either, but... Hey, Matt and Brittany. Like first time I ever tried to batch so like three Devons live I accidentally like mixed them up and like I think I literally had to use two different vinyls on one but it turned out being really cute so can't be too mad. I am definitely going to do a sublimation video. Um, I had made a post about it, um, like asking people questions and whatnot. I just need to put it together. Um, I think a couple of times people have asked me about sublimating on vinyl, and that's not something I have any knowledge of how to do, though. But I figured I can go over tumblers, mouse pads, fabric, and then like actually doing the design or whatever and printing it and whatnot. And I can go over like the printer I have. But yeah, I'm going to I just have to figure out when. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, although I don't know, it might have to be after Florida So Magical. I guess it will depend on how much I get done in the next like two weeks. Okay, yeah, I've been cutting these sides out too big and I knew that I knew there was something wrong with the measurement I wrote down but I changed it somewhere and didn't change it on my piece the type of fabric yeah you have to you have to do sublimation on like polyester um, because sublimation the ink it's like a chemical process um, 
the heat turns the ink into like a gas and then it basically like transfers to the material so polyester will hold it where like cotton won't i'm gonna have to look up the science <laughs> to it um more before i do the video too <laughs> because every time like i go to explain it like that i'm like is that right I feel like I just sound like I'm making stuff up when I say it too. It's 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 weird. But yeah. Hi Ernest and Marina. Now I really like cotton woven fabric. So the like material I use, I don't love, but I've kind of just accepted the fact that because of the base, it's what I have and what I can work with. Oh yeah, see, the fur fits on this one so much better. I don't know what I did on that other one. It came out fine, that's all that matters. I really like this raspberry vinyl. Um, Lauren had sent me these ones to share, and I bought another roll of it last weekend in person. So pretty. Also, because she had sewn a bag with it, and I saw it, and I, was like, oh, I really like it. I hear a kitty bell. 
He's doing right. He woke up. Bye bye. Bye bye. That hurt. He woke up and I saw him and he just turned and lay back down. I love that silly little cat so much. Oh, that's what he did. He tricked me. Definitely gonna have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of my sublimation video though that I'm not a professional. Uh, that's kind of what's held me back this whole time is just uh, feeling like I don't want anyone to be mad. Oh my gosh. Can I keep it? One of these days I'm going to make myself something with this Flurkin fabric though for real because I truly love it. So much. I get like scam calls and it's like the color ID says regarding your prescription plan. What prescription plan? Because I don't have one. <laughs> I haven't gotten any spam texts lately, thankfully, but spam calls have never let up, like, ever. get like a, a lot of scam emails lately but they're like so blatantly like a scam it's not even funny and then I also get like scam files shared to my google drive I don't it's annoying <laughs> Oh, yeah. My favorite is the, like, scam emails for your invoice. And it's like, why would anyone open something and pay it? Knowing that they didn't. But then again, my dad called me one day. This has been a while. And he's like, yeah, Amazon called me and told me that my bank account was hacked um so something 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 and I was like dad what do you mean Amazon called you and he's like yeah someone hacked and they were something something I'm like did you talk to your bank and he was like no 
And I was like, Dad, you need to get off the phone and call your bank. You just got scammed. Because <laughs> I was like, did you give him your information? He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> but my dad, he doesn't have Facebook. He, he like, doesn't have email on his phone. <laughs> yeah. think he has an Amazon account because I order for him like his card and address are on my account I tell you oh that's crazy yeah Yeah, it was fine. He called the bank and they like immediately refunded like anything and canceled his card. These are cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I almost said a latte. I kind of want Starbucks. I bought the, uh, well, my mom got her a couple pairs too, but I bought her a bunch of new leggings for school. And they're snug, so I gotta go take them all back and get her the next size up, which I'm just in denial that she needs that size. So funny. I, I, uh, tried to get her to put a pair of shorts on this morning. I was like, see if these fit. And then I left the room and she just starts, ah! she's like, they don't fit. I'm like, okay, take them off. I don't know how she got them over her butt because <laughs> I had to yank them off and she's like I have a big butt I'm like yeah and she goes well you have a big butt too <laughs> she's six I was like thanks Thea <laughs> thanks so much <laughs> have I ever sewed with two colors on the top thread you mean like two strands no I don't I don't I don't think you could that's what you mean right I feel like because the thread is so thick on the industrial, I don't think I would try it. I've used two strands on a domestic using a twin needle. I love the variegated thread though. So much.
I love these Kai Filler so much. I can't use my hands today. Yeah, the nice thing about not boxing the corners is you don't have to measure it, you don't have to cut, you don't have to literally box the corners. <laughs> I just really like the look. I like how soft this vinyl is, but it is a little bit stretchy. So like if you were making something that you wanted it real structured, you'd have to interface it. It's not a problem. It's really nice for stuff like this though. And then of course anyone with a domestic. Batch sewing is just so much more effective for me. Especially like something like this where like tomorrow I have an event. So if I can, you know, have an extra batch of things. if I can do this to where I don't have to start the thread again at all. I 
let's thread this in too because they're all close together. I'm so excited. I have a no face sewing label, I think now. I'm almost sure I do. And I have a Marvel at my creation that I can use for the Flurkin. That's the soot sprites. There's marble. I know I have it. I just looked at it again. I feel like it would still be in a bag. This is so bad. I can't um I can't close the binder because I have too many um, tags for it, so I kind of just started throwing things right into there. <gasps> there it is! Always hungry with the gold coins, but I could have used finish what you started, humans. That would have worked too. But, you know, okay. I need to organize them again. I have an idea for something. I might make a video. But when I do it, because this it's not working. Uh, Flurkin was not sublimated. It's, um, an old Mormino print. Yeah, uh, I gave up on that binder a while ago. A while ago. So need to clean like my whole life uh so that i can do like a whole office studio tour video <laughs> see you bernie and matt <laughs>
I would. I got like a, a different kind of binder something idea. We'll see. <laughs> I used to a long time ago keep them in these things because the whole top was for them. I actually still have tags up there because when I originally got the binder in like January, I um, had put like some of each tag into it and then put the rest like back in those, but. I literally just have too many of like everything and I don't want to keep like one of each in it because then I'd be constantly refilling it. The binder is so cute though. I, I don't know. I would maybe almost literally just keep it possibly with one of each in it to put like where I bought it from or something. I don't know. I love it. This one weighs one step down. Oh, if you missed, this was the first one I made. Three down. Okay, I have to put black thread in. Dang it. <laughs> it's like it's stuck on my nails when I try to wind it. And now at this point, you're done. Not enough left on it. That's always more than I thought. Um, so if I when I do this. And it's like a ton of thread. I cut it up because uh, cats. Just in case. I almost never caught cats trying to eat thread, but 
What else is on my sewing list this weekend? Um, tomorrow I have a show, so I won't get any sewing done. Um, Sunday, I don't know if I'll actually really should clean the house. <laughs> I don't know where's the fun in that uh and then monday i don't i think we're going to my mom's to go swimming since it's labor day so i don't know i'm not sure i'd like to sew Yeah, I might be spending the night at my mom's tonight. And if that happens, I'll probably sew tonight. Maybe knock a custom out. using the same for both of those, am I? No. Painting is the worst and my house is a wreck. Theo's room looks like a bomb went off. Oh, I see the zipper tape for that one. I can remember which goes on which now, though.
Maybe I'll just do a live for the custom Emily. And then later on, do a video for one of the candles. That's probably what I'll do. Um, I made three, and there's four right here, and technically I have one other one cut out, um, but some of these were just ones that have been, like, sitting prepped to cut out, or prepped to sew for a little bit. I don't have to finish them. I don't think I'll make any more on this live after these, um, if I even finish all these. Uh, these three cat ones, Lauren cut out the vinyls for me for them, and the linings, uh, but the Dinah handbag, the cat purse I make, the leftovers of a roll of vinyl is pretty much just enough, kind of, uh, to make it oven.
<laughs> are you talking like are we including like bathroom breaks and eating stuff for like the longest sewing session I don't think you want the answer oh shoot Well, there have been many a times where I was working on a cat toy order, and all I did was sew and eat and sleep a little bit. So, I don't think it would be unreasonable for me to say at least 20 hours. I would so trade stuff for uh, house cleaning. I wish I could afford a house cleaner, but you have to kind of clean stuff too. I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it dedication or no other option. <laughs> some cat toy orders that did not go well and um, I, I literally had to non-stop do it and it wasn't it wasn't fun at all and because I've tried to have people work for me that would like flake on me or other things and yeah, no bag making well okay a couple years ago uh, I took customs for Christmas and I won't do it again and I was literally I have a futon down here like right over there staying up until like 7 a.m. and then taking like a tiny nap for like two hours and then going back to work um, I literally had overnighted a couple of things on December 23rd. Not doing it again. Oh my gosh, a t-shirt quilt start to finish? No thank you. Yeah, you get to clean before the cleaners come. Can't do it. Not doing it. <sighs> I don't know. Um, my... I think I'm doing yellow, shoot, nope, can't do it now, I already put that there. I wasn't going to do yellow with this one, it's fine, that's what we're doing now. Um, I've been teaching my son that he has to do chores before he can play video games, so um, he's been doing a little bit of stuff. friend was saying, she's, we were talking about how many cats we have and litter boxes and whatnot, and she said that each of their kids has their own litter box they're responsible for, and I was like, Dom, 
he can start scooping the litter box. And he's like, we have a litter robot. And I was like, yes, we do. But we have a regular litter box downstairs. And I was like, guess what? Wanna play video games? Litter box. It hasn't started yet, because I went out of town. I didn't get to, like, teach them. Yet. It just truly feels like if you don't spend, like, multiple hours a day cleaning every single day, that it doesn't even matter. Beth, I still didn't see the Barbie movie, by the way. I'm kind of upset about it. Yeah, I've tried not cleaning, and then no one else does either. And that's why I should probably spend tomorrow cleaning. Or no, I have a show tomorrow. I think in like another week it, it'll be on like digital stuff. You know, watch it while I sew. <laughs> Beth, did you meet um, Sam at, in Tennessee from Sunny Sewing? We call him Bobbin Boy. <laughs> um, I got a Snapchat during So Magical last weekend. Um, I can't remember if it came from Josie or Kira but it was the Barbie like filter frame it was a picture of Sam with the Barbie thing and it said this is Sam Sam's job is bobbin he's so funny cat bell again. I see Donut. Bye bye. Did it again. He just spun around and leaned back down. Cats are so lazy. Dang, yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm not saying my boyfriend doesn't clean, but just wish I didn't have to.
Yeah, Sam really does roll with whatever. <laughs> I feel that, Melissa. Like, also, like, with my boyfriend and my son, I'm like, I, I don't think I should have to clean the toilet where I definitely did not pee on it. And you can't tell me it wasn't them. <laughs> I, I read it, gee, I was like, hmm. <laughs> the, the first time I made my son clean the toilet, <laughs> he was in there like gagging. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, bud. <laughs> This is where I'm like, I hope I don't mix stuff up. funny because sometimes when I talk about my boyfriend he's magically watching. He must be actually working. No, he works. <laughs> I can't remember what we were talking about the one time and I'm like it's okay he's, he, he's not watching and all of a sudden I heard him yell from upstairs <laughs> and I was like oh guess we can't talk about Mike anymore.
yellow one is this. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, the trash. I think I do it sometimes, though, so I can't, like, overly complain there but Dom Dom doesn't we have the trash that like pulls out from under the cabinet and I'm like dude you can't just like shove a bunch of stuff in and then close it like if it doesn't fit you can't close it because when I open it and it flies out then I'm real mad Like someone tagged me in the side swag bag group. My YouTube channel. Yay. I'm like, did a wave of YouTube notifications just drop? <laughs> They're like, oh, so and so's live. They've been live for like an hour. So here's your notification. I like how it always like tells me that I should watch my own videos. Like if you insist.
Yeah, they are really good scrap busters. Um, to my knowledge, you can't sublimate vinyl. Um, so I use polyester fabric. Um, I tried sublimating on waterproof canvas before and I, I did not like it. interface it depending on the pattern so like this has a uh, woven interfacing on it like so flute so fuse or so fuse plus and I also um, do use deco light too it just it depends on on what I'm making how structured I need it to be but um, nope just woven For printed vinyl, I either have my own printed or buy it. I looked at my phone and it like made a funny thing and it said you're live. Hopefully it didn't cut out. Thanks, Janet.
I so I've got the Sunflower Festival this weekend, but I have um, four weeks off from shows after that. Oh, sorry. But one of those weeks will be in Florida. So I'll get home from Florida on a Tuesday. And that Saturday is my local Comic Con. And I really want to have some stuff for it. I really, really, really want to have some mini backpacks. So I'm hoping that I can squeeze a batch of those out of nowhere. Probably be able to make some more Devons. It's just last year I made so many cat toys that I really didn't have time to do anything special for Comic Con and I hated it because I didn't really have any bags specifically for it. I was able to like have tumblers and mouse pads. And then hopefully next month in October, I should be doing a cat show. So I'm gonna make cat stuff. I say hopefully, cause I gotta pay the booth fee. I'm like waiting for my pre-orders to come in. I can sell retail. <laughs> like, hurry up, get here. It's like a game of when will it actually happen? I really can't believe the cats have stayed asleep this whole time. Other than Jonah just getting up and turning around and making me think he was gonna come say hi. Waste.
I am shocked I still have that. What do you mean? What's the number I use for the little thing? Okay, so woven interfacing, I like the SoFuse and the SoFuse Plus from Castine Handcrafted. Uh, I like using the Plus mostly, but some projects where you don't need as thick of an interfacing or as much structure, the regular Sofuse works great too. So, um, for my car trash can class that I taught in Nashville, I used the regular Sofuse on some cotton woven fabric. But then, generally, when I make bags, I'll use the plus.
making sure that my boyfriend had not messaged me. He said he thought he was going to be off work early today. He must not have. Except for the most part, there's no loose pieces. I'm like, I think I put them all together right. You sold lots of craft fairs to go to and sell. Yeah, I have a market tomorrow. I have a comic con at the end of the month. Next month, I should be doing a cat show. That's two days and a three day Halloween show. And then in November, as of right now, I just have a two day gaming expo. And then in December, a three-day holiday show. Um, shoot, I don't know what the deadline is, but my local zoo has like a craft market thing. But um, doing it is concerning to me because your space is a table, and that doesn't really work for me. I have like a whole setup. And then I had thought about doing Galaxy Con in Columbus. They've got some decent name people coming. However, I ran out of bobbin. I knew that was gonna happen. Um I haven't heard.
heard the greatest things about it. And then, uh, there's like a craft show at one of the elementaries here. But I just don't think I want to do it. I'm really upset though because my daughter's school where my son went the last like six years. Seven? Anyways. My kids have been going there for a long time. They're doing a craft show and they don't normally do one. But it's the same day as the cat show. And the cat show is supposed to have like upwards of 20,000 people there. So I can't, I just can't not go. I'm also uh, this month going to Florida to teach at Sojourn Florida. So. I should be able to finish these before Thea gets home. My boyfriend did knock on my door. Just walked in. <laughs> yes, I think so. Unless there's a cat playing upstairs.
There we go. Mike, are you home? Okay, I should be done by then though. I'm just finishing these. Um, I gotta talk to you. Mom, mom called and uh, asked if Theo wanted to maybe spend the night, but then we were talking about deciding on a day. My tables are still at her house that I kind of somewhat need for tomorrow. I'm done. I'll be up. Tell us about the bags. They're Devon pouches. I already finished three. <laughs> I'm trying to finish these four. I think they're like $34. I'm not sure. Some of those things I should probably know. I think they're $34. It probably depends on the hardware. I have to like look it up every time to remember. know what girlfriend you're buying for. for.
You know that like Aaron Carter song from when we were kids and it was like, I want candy. I want tacos. Oh. Unless you're making pork chops and mashed potatoes tonight, Mike. That's not acceptable. Have I ever sewn a finger? Not yet. Hey, Barbara. Yeah, I got your custom to make. I might, we'll see. I might end up doing at least part of it live. Maybe. Barbara, you got, um, did you say you did get an industrial or you were thinking about it? I can't remember. But did you get it? I don't know, we'll talk about it, Mike. Because I have a six and a four foot table at Mom's, and that's what I've been using, but I have another six foot here, and I almost think I don't need the four foot. I could... I could get by with not having the four foot if I needed to, but that's what I've been using. Hey, Kristen. Oh, the King Mac. Is that, um, that's what Saya has, right? I think.
did not intend for a Devin making live to be so long, but here we are. Maybe I'll just go live for a little bit. Oh, nice. I have never seen a King Max in person. Just the Jukies and Lethors, and then uh, the Texo I have. It's cool that there's like more brands too though. Like widens the options. Kristen, are you going to Florida? Florida it's me. I can't believe it's in like three freaking weeks. <laughs> I'm just so glad that um, my class kits for both of my classes aren't like terrible. It's a prep. Okay, I thought you were in Florida, and that's why I was like, are you going to Florida? And then I was going to be like, do you live in Florida? <laughs> the closest one for me is Nashville. And that's an eight-hour journey. I'm flying to Florida this year, though. It'll be the first me I fly to. Because <laughs> I drove to Florida last year. Yeah, it's really hard remembering where literally everyone lives. It was really funny, though, because last year we went to leave and we put the Gaylord address in, and it is exactly a thousand miles from my house. Oh, Melissa, there's um the Washington So Expo in uh Puyallup Puyallup what are you saying um Lauren applied to Vend and I'm toying with the idea of going and applying to teach I just don't know what I would teach Yeah, I think it's the sewing and stitchery. <laughs> Got both the kids bus alarms today. Well, not bus. Dom doesn't ride the bus. But I didn't have to pick them up today because 
go to his dad's for the weekend, so his dad picked him up. Um, there's a sewing expo in Cleveland, too, that I really wanted to go to this year, but it was the same weekend that I went to North Carolina to do the uh, math pack workshop. So I haven't gotten to explore that one yet. I don't know if they do classes. Okay, you don't have any clips left on you. You've got one. You've got one. I almost would have finished before I had to get the um. Technically, I bet I could flip them all. Put mics together. Not the cat I expected to be first. Good morning from Australia. Can you please show me your whole punching die and where you got it from? Um, I don't... I have an awl on my uh, cam press and I got that from Cam Snaps. Um, I also use a crocodile. I bought that at Joanne's. Um, I also have a rainbow hole punch from Mormino. I think I got an effective one. <laughs> I meant to show it to Lauren when I was when she was here, and I forgot. Um, but if that would happen to anyone else, they will absolutely replace it. I just keep forgetting. need to close them. Um, it fits in my press, my awl. It doesn't punch a hole. Like, it doesn't cut a hole. It just pokes one. But I got it from Cam Snaps. Because that's where my um, hole press is from. And I have their rivet dies, um, purse feet dies, magnet dies, like uh, the magnet stacks. But I am probably going to buy um, the like hole punch and um, uh, rivet dies from Buckle Guy because they fit on them and I really like them um, after using Lauren's a couple times. Luna, what are you doing? Kiki? Lauren's need those clear bumpers and cooter don't work for me. I accidentally threw them out by clear. Um, so I tried using it and it still um, isn't working. I, I really think I got a dud, <laughs> which is my luck. <laughs> okay. 
That's another one. I really need to close these though. If I don't, I'll forget. So. These are hex reject prints. Um, I don't know if that file is available. Yes. Yeah. Texas coming. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the whole ambassador team. Well, not the whole ambassador team, but there are a lot of us that'll be there. It's really exciting. Luna. She goes crazy for, like, uh, scraps of final like the little strips oh well, this is cute so this is the lace final Luna come here come here I was almost late to pick Dom up yesterday from school because I sat down on my couch and Luna got in my lap and she was purring I shouldn't normally do that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to move her. And then I told Dom. I was like, yeah. He's like, is that why you were late? I, I was like, maybe a minute late. Um, and I was like, yeah. And I showed him a picture. He's like, all right, well, if that ever happens again, you can totally be late. Because <laughs> it's his cat. <laughs> This one's cool. It's like away from my normal like pinks and whatnot. I was gonna use um light gold, but I didn't have the D20 pool and light gold. Alright, let's see. Do I have any tags that are like how do I not have like a D and D or I don't. I don't even know what I would put. Oh. I don't think I have to. This bag is a natural 20. I knew. Right. Back into the mess of everything. May contain cat hair. More of those up there. <clears throat> Close them up and be done. Pretty solid Mormino bag. The vinyl, the 
super cool the tag uh, retro stitch fabric though. Couldn't look at the bus tracker. Who knows if the bus is even on time today? Mike went outside. I need to put it on my uh, iPad too, so I can like look while I'm live if I need to. Because right now it's only on my phone. The water resistant canvas, I definitely do like using for these now because it's just so much easier to push in. So, there's these three kitty ones. The spice one. Lurkin. No face. And sunflower skulls. So, wee! Thanks for hanging out with me. Promise I'm gonna do frequent lives as long as the kids are in school. Summer is fair game. It's like the children are feral, and it's a fun for yourself. <laughs> okay, bye.